Good morning, Grandpa. Dad. Hey, Kevin. Good morning, Kelly. I'm surprised that you two aren't at the hospital. Well, we were there most of the night. Yeah, they kicked us out. A new baby came in to kneel needle, and they have to get everything set up before they let anyone else go back in. How's our little fella doing? Mrs. Davidson has arrived. Good morning, Claire. Good morning. Good morning. Hi, Hello. darling. Mom, I'm glad you can make it. Oh, no problem. What's going on? Don't tell me this is about the baby. Zane's fine. Actually, he's improving faster than the doctors expected, so it's good. Oh, no, thank goodness for that. No. Well, you had us worried there for a minute. Oh, sorry. I mean, if something was wrong, we would have told you right off. Nigel. Yes, sir. Rustle up some more breakfast. I think we're about to have a little uh, family powwow. Night away, Sam. Kelly. Mm -hmm. Any new pictures of the little guy? Oh, funny you should ask. I have a few right here. Yeah, I took those pictures of Zane this morning before we left the hospital. Oh, yeah. Looks like Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I, uh, I like the name Zane. Zane Gray. The best Western writer ever. <laughs> well, if you don't count Lou Lamore. <laughs> oh, oh, I wonder where he got that from. Yeah, yeah, I used to read Louis L'Amour to the boys a bit. That's right. Yeah, Duke liked them too. You know, I never knew that until after he was gone. I found a whole collection of my bookshelves. Duke made me read every one of them. Kept me up late. Me to argue. Who was the best Western writer? Hmm. Who won? Uh, we agreed not to agree. <laughs> But I know one thing. I think he'd be very happy with a son named Zane. <laughs> you know, if this is not about uh, Zane Buchanan, what is it about? Moving to London. You know, darling, I mean, I still think it's a good idea, but I'm going to miss you two so much. My second hand. But Buchanan Enterprises, London Division. Has it been the same since you left, Clint? Yeah, I know that, but if anybody can get it back on track, Pa, it's Kevin. But we knew you were going to London. You didn't get us together to tell us that. You're right, I didn't. What I came to say is that I'm leaving today. You're moving to London today? Nothing is going to happen today. Kevin, I thought you were going to leave in a few weeks. Well, I got another call this morning. Whatever's going on there isn't getting better by me staying here. But, but, but that's ridiculous. I mean, the, the baby's not strong enough to travel yet. Well, Zane and I are going to stay here for a while to be with his doctors. But honey, you can't handle that alone. No, she's not going to be alone. She's got our family and all of you to help. And this way, Kevin will go. He'll get us an apartment and everything will be set up when we get there. So, you two back together? Or it's just because of Duke's baby. Actually, we're doing this because we think it's a real shot to get our lives back together. But we can't do that in Landview. We have to go someplace else. It wouldn't be fair to Zane. So you think going someplace else, it'll solve everything? I think it's a good start, yes. I understand it then. But you understand this. There is no way in hell anybody's going to leave today. What difference does it make if I leave now or next week? For one thing, Spencer Truman's trial starts today. Don't you want to see that son of a bitch get what he deserves? Honestly, Grandpa, I just I don't care. Oh, come on. After all he's done to you... Listen to me, okay? Seeing Zane fight for every day, for every breath, has made me realize what's important, okay? And, and revenge is not on the radar for me anymore. I mean, that's part of moving to London to put this all behind us. Sweetheart, we can't you, can't you stay a, at least in, I don't know, Thanksgiving, please? Not if I want to turn B's fourth quarter around, I can't. Yeah, you'll be coming back for the holidays though, right? If I can. I mean, Dad, you of all people know what it's like. You know, look, I'm not leaving forever. And Zane and I will be here for a while. But I'll tell you something, you're not going to be away for good. And you both are taking my great, great grandson with you. And I'm going to tell you both, that's going to break Renee's heart. Oh, Grandpa, listen, we're going to come and visit. 
Okay, I promise you, when we can. And and listen, Renee, she can come to London anytime she wants, and you too, if you can. Kevin, I'm not gonna be around forever, you know. I realize that, Grandpa. I'm gonna tell you something. But while I'm here, I'm gonna enjoy my family. That's the only thing that's important. It's important to me too. That's part of the reason I'm going, for your legacy. Yeah, I don't want to see what you worked a lifetime for just fall apart now. You know, and it's not just business. I want to make a life for my family, and I can't do that here. Not the way things are. All right. I guess it's settled then. I guess so. That's the only thing left to do is say goodbye. I'll stop by the palace, say goodbye to Renee. You'd better. I'd be hella pay if you go away without seeing her. I'm gonna miss you, Grandpa. Huh. Same here. I'll do my best to make you proud. You already have some. Dad? God. <laughs> Kevin, I almost wish I hadn't brought this up. Well, oh, don't be. I want to do this for the family. All right. Oh, look, if you need any help with the specifics of the London operation... I'll call. All right. I'm going to call anyway to keep in touch, all right? Thank you for that. No, no, thank you for everything. Kevin, can't you reconsider, sweetheart, please? I mean, you can stay until Christmas. And then you're going to want me to stay till New Year's and Easter and my birthday. <laughs> I don't ever want you to go. I know that. But I have to. I know you do. <laughs> oh, honey, I'm going to miss oh. you so much. Oh, I'm going to miss you, too. <laughs> Listen, I just want you to know that uh, these last few years, uh, there's been a lot of ups and downs. Mostly downs. There's been a lot of terrible things that have happened. I couldn't have got through any of it without you. <laughs> I mean that. I mean, the love and support that you've given me is unbelievable. And I just want you to know that I love you very much. I love you. <laughs> I guess this is it then. Not just yet, sir. This would be a lot better with a shot of vodka in it, but not that hell. Little Zane, God bless, Godspeed to the three of you, to this whole family.